the megatrends in the field of AI and how they impact environmental services can be summarized in, in a way, two words, prediction and optimization. The rise of AI is a tale of a data-driven, a data-centric process that enables new types of algorithms, actually not so new, all types of algorithms to deliver new types of performance. And that goes across the world. Uh, you can basically enhance the capability to detect uh, potential failures in uh, pipes by basically identifying where the failure is going to happen way ahead of time. We can develop smart trash cans and therefore enable algorithms to optimize the route for waste collection. And obviously, there is a, a trove, a treasure trove of potential, of potential optimization in the field of energy optimization across the board of shop floor, uh, across um, lighting systems. It's really a tale of optimization and also prediction of future demand. AI can really bring great benefits to both megacities, but also small-scale cities or smaller cities, regional cities. <clears throat> and it's really a story of doing more with less. Again, it's optimizing. We need to deliver more services in waste collection and management, in water distribution, in energy delivery, but we need to optimize and minimize our resource consumption. The planet requires it, or obligation in terms of CO2 emissions require it, and with the rise of artificial intelligence, we've got a, a magnificent tool, a very potent tool, to do just that. But the main difference between megacities and smaller cities is re revolves around capability building. We will need to invest a lot in capability building in smaller scale cities so that we can empower them to have access to these new technologies in a way that makes sense economically, managerially, and socially. That's probably the biggest difference between megacities, which have more naturally the scale, the critical mass to invest in those technologies. Well, the rise of AI impacts uh, a company such as Veolia um, through a powerful process of digital transformation. We have to consider the, rev the revolution of AI within the wider framework of the digital revolution. And it means being more data-driven, being more data-centric. It probably means leveling down the topography of power within the company, unleashing the power of collective intelligence and open innovation to let information flow freely from the periphery of the system up to the center. It's really therefore a tale of transformation. Innovation and transformation is about change. Change is painful, that's why it's not easy, but it's very important. And this will probably imply new forms of public-private people partnership involving new actors from the Silicon Valley, from China, to try and articulate new partnerships around data and algorithms.